Taurus. Taurus, welcome. Let's get into a general read for you. We're going to look at a, a collective read. So this may not be a super personal read, but there can be information here for you or a different way of looking at things. And that's kind of how I treat tarot. Now, right off the top, you have really, really been thinking a lot. You've been stressed. It's not been easy. Things may have not gone the way that you've wanted them to with the Seven of Swords here. The Three of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. I get for some of you, it's almost like starting over where you've started to work on something and it's bringing its own type of peace. Yet, there's still a lot of thinking that's going on because it's just not going the way that you had possibly planned. This may actually be one of those things where it's like you had an idea of how things should be, but it's actually not going that way. It is something that's being... That's too many cards. Uh, it's actually just being different where you used to be able to anticipate and now it might just be completely different. So we have temperance as a possible want. This is an ameliorating, I hope I said that right, an ameliorating, an ameliorating effect on regrets from the past, the um, weight of the past and the king of cups possibly even love from the past the things that you were working hard to accomplish and it's just like it seems like you've been under a lot of stress and you're kind of wanting that to, well, who wouldn't? Uh, you're kind of wanting that to, the peaks and valleys have been sharp. And we kind of want to just kind of smooth that out some degree. The Knight of Swords, followed by the Six of Cups. You're wanting to go back to the past in something. Past love, okay. Strength card, the Empress, your energy, and the Four of Cups. You possibly want to go back to a connection. It's not going to be easy. And you're not really sure if they're going to want you. With the Empress here, this is you, and I want to read it as such. But I also, for some of you, this just does speak to that connection. Now, the High Priestess is what's working for you. You may be using your intuition at this particular point in time. Um, it's not been easy. Uh, the Nine of Wands, the Two of Cups, the Knave of Wands, and the Emperor. You may be balancing the thought of the hurt that you've gone through with how, if you want to communicate with this individual, because the Emperor here, we do have the Emperor and Empress on the table, so this is a divine connection. But this may be that you may receive or may you've been wanting to reach out in some way to communicate with this individual. We have the Queen of Cups. So we do have the King and Queen here as well. The Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. This Queen of Cups...
it can be that there's a lot of motion here. Especially when it comes to a solid beginning within a relationship. And this can be just a solid beginning in the things that you desire most with the Nine of Cups. And that these things are going to start moving. Those things are start going to start happening. So it can be that you've had a lot of emotion around uh, new work for some of you. But for others of you, this can be that somebody might want to reach out. The Three of Wands, the Moon, and the Knight of Cups. It seems like you're able to look forward maybe six months in the future, maybe three. It doesn't feel like a really long sort of, I can look and see those plans coming into effect so far out. that there's some uncertainty, especially when it comes to love with the Knight of Cups, possibly some type of communication. And it may come through as a surprise to you. This individual who surprisingly walked away may have learned their lesson or may learn a few things about themselves. I don't say learned your lesson like, oh my God, like this is something they, they really, like a, like a punishment, they learn their lesson, but more of they've grown. And this is actually one of my favorite cards in this deck, where they may come back and balance an unbalanced situation and give you what you truly want. Because there was an ending here. And that ending, we have the hangman. So Pisces. And there was little fighting here that went on. Um, and somebody just kind of went off and did their own thing with the Eight of Pentacles. But they've changed. They've changed. Um, more to the Queen of Wands. They want to start again with the Ace of Cups in love. And bring the Ten of Cups together. And they've thought about this with the King of Swords here. They've thought about this for a while. So, that's what I have for you today. Best of luck this week, Taurus. We will see you next time. Stay safe.